Um, Kenzie, Kenzie just said, Goslin slander is not accepted. Truth. You can slander some of them, but... Actually, we don't accept it. But <laughs> Maddie not, and I, it's not for us. Yeah, don't slander us. But there are some people that make I just think we... I think the way we were raised... Um, because we grew up on TV, it's just I think the way we deal with things is really well. Like... Yeah. I think we, we, we have a lot of... Um, wet, like... Just yeah, because just we like, but just because we don't let little things bother us doesn't mean it's acceptable mm-hmm, and that totally. it doesn't still like uh, affect people's feelings. <laughs> yeah, like that's so true actually. Like really like out of touch, like especially like, specifically Kara and myself are like really out of touch and like we don't really know like how the world like operates and like I think that I have put a lot of effort into like understanding people's situations and like the like way the world works and like um like putting forward a lot of like empathy for um a lot of people uh a lot of, I mean different types of people who aren't like me and people who are like me and so I like I guess a misconception about our family is that like I consider myself to be empathetic and kind, and I consider my siblings um, to be that as well. Uh, okay, yeah. So, one is, yeah. There's also a big one that, like, we don't talk to each other or that there's a big divide because some of us live with our dad and some mm-hmm. of us live with our mom. Like, that was always a big one. We still talk to each other. Yeah, maybe there was times where we... we we don't speak we didn't speak to each other every single second of the day but we still talk to each other and see each other like it really is not that big ordeal a a, a big ordeal don't even say no i'm not gonna say the ones that other people like um we because literally when i made my aren't the ones that we like when I made my TikTok public, I just got spammed with one single quote, and it never stopped. Yeah, don't even say it. Guys, the ones that we like aren't the ones that people like. Like, the ones that I like personally is one time when Leah ate, like, three bowls of cereal, and she said, like, I'm hungry or something, and um, <laughs> and someone said, or I think our dad said, like, you're hungry, like, didn't you eat breakfast? Like, didn't you have cereal for breakfast? And she said, yeah, I had three bowls. And then he says, like, um, something like, where do you put it all? And she goes, what? <laughs> what? And then she says, <laughs> and then he's like, oh, like, you must just be, like, all cereal or something. But I love when she says, what? Right. It says you're paused. Oh. Oh, yeah. My phone. I have 20%. I'll plug it in. I was talking about I was talking to my mother the other day about this and she said she said that's my blue baby yes classic or Leah's poodle clips her what she had poodle clip it's like kind of a it's a win win and also a lose lose because it's like there's some things that like I would never give up like. I don't know, like, I feel like it made us very worldly. We got to travel a lot, do a lot of fun things, meet a lot of cool people, like, do fun things as a family, like, sorry, get kind of, like, um, you pause. insight into the industry, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but then there are also, obviously, downsides, like, when people comment on my TikToks and think that it's okay to be, like, you look pregnant and stuff like that <laughs> that is so rude i actually can't yeah i was like That's um i think i think it was good i think the i always say the opportunities that we got from the show were huge and like because i always said like imagine we didn't have the show and then there was eight children and mm-hmm. and it was just wild but i think like we would never get to travel to the places that we got to travel to if we didn't have the show. So I think the opportunities are great. Feeling- Do I? Oh, someone asked if I have PCOS. Um, 
No. <laughs> what is that? I don't. It's what um, mother has, like, but, mm. you know. No, do you I don't know? have PCOS that I know, know of, you but that? I'm pretty sure I don't. Well, because it has, like, certain symptoms and stuff. Oh, wait, I was talking about this with mother. Oh, Someone said, what a rude question. Yeah, I kind of agree. But I will clarify you and tell you that I don't have it. I was talking about this with mother, I think, on Thanksgiving. I think you're talking about it. Oh, oh my god. Someone commented about us calling her mother. Guys, we call her mother because we started calling her that as a joke, and then it stopped being a joke. And then it, like, actually stuck, and now... And then it stuck, and now people think... Look at my hat. Oh, wait, that was cool. People think it's, like... I don't know, I saw this thing... People think it's, like, like, impersonal, and I'm like, no, it's cute. No, people think it's, like, like, people are, like, it's kind of, like... I don't even know. Someone I saw a comment about it, and I was like, "Everyone thinks it's weird," but I was like, "That's just like it, we think it's funny. Like it's like yeah, we started doing it because it was funny. Also, and now like, we can't we're stop. All, we're all like at the age like, I'm not gonna sit here and call my mom mommy. Like yeah, like so mother is funny. Yeah, and it's unique. Like it's oh, like sorry. you should all try calling your mom's mother because it's actually really Bye. funny, and it'll probably give them a good laugh. Someone said, it's funny, like, laugh. It's funny. Yeah, it is funny. It's really yes. funny. Ha, ha, ha. Sometimes we call her Marmy, too. <gasps> Wait, look. Nice hat. <laughs> okay, someone said that they probably asked if I have PCOS because I have acne at 22. No, guys. Oh, look at I just have acne because I'm 22. But, like, but like that happened, like... Um, I have acne but... because my parents gave it to me in their genetics. Thanks. Someone said I have acne at 23. You Thank you so much for saying that. Someone said I'm 36 no. with acne. Oh, and he was like, no, I'd rather see you with your pimple patches and instead of, like, getting all dressed up. Yeah. So I was like, okay. But I only look nice if, like, we're actually, like, going somewhere. Yeah, like, I'm definitely been looking not great. Someone asked what my birthday is. October 8th, 2000. Thank you for asking. Wow. This October, I will be 23 years old. This May, I will be... This said, you girls are beautiful, don't listen to trolls, but I thought it said, you girls look like trolls, because I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> Literally skipping the words. Um, I just, like, made... I made up, like, a narrative in my head. <laughs> you made up your own your own comment. Somebody said jump from, like, a million yeah. topics a, a second. Yeah, we don't make any sense. Um, Someone asked what our pronouns are. Well, my pronouns are she, her, hers. And what are your pronouns, Hannah? What are your pronouns? I don't know. <laughs> her. Your pronouns Probably are she, her. Probably the same her. as that. Yeah, they're she, her, hers. Good Stop, because like, I really don't, like, go into all that. Like, I... Well, I'll get you into I it. understand it. I understand it, but I don't really... Well, we can talk about it. Do you want to talk about Go it? Go into it. Do you want to talk about it? Yeah, we can. Okay. So, honestly, if you identify as a woman and you use she, her, hers pronouns, but, however, people sometimes identify as a woman and they use, for example, like, she, they pronouns or, like, they, them oh, pronouns. Oh, wait, I understand that. Yeah. But the purpose of you as someone who is, like, binary, like, sharing your pronouns is to normalize sharing your pronouns for people who have pronouns that other people wouldn't deem like socially acceptable like for example like people who use they them pronouns so like if you want to be a good ally to non-binary people or queer people or people who use like kind of alternate pronouns um you should share your pronouns oh got it like when you introduce yourself and like especially in an academic setting like when you go to college well, yeah, because I know, like, yeah, because when I was doing all my college stuff, it, like, you, it asks you, like, all this stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, but that's just, like, the main, like, like, for you as someone who, like, like, obviously, like, I know you, like, like, well and, like, intimately, so, like, I, I mean, I wouldn't know, like, like, what's, like, in your heart, but, like, I know, like, that you identify as a woman, you use she, her, her, or she her hers pronouns so like the purpose just for someone like you sharing your pronouns is just to Mm -hmm. like normalize it for people who might feel like intimidated sharing their pronouns in some way like being the only person in a room that needs to share their pronouns you know what i mean yeah do you see what i'm saying comments i'm trying to like read them and there's so many 
Someone says queer is commonly used in the US, but it's classified as offensive in the UK. Um, so actually, um, I totally understand that. And I actually did um, a queer bias training um, for my internship last summer. And I think that, yes, if someone ever asked me to like not use the word queer, like towards them like I wouldn't like if they don't identify as queer but I actually am a queer person and I identify as queer specifically using that word so that's just something that I use in my vocabulary but if I if someone didn't want me to talk about them as like queer I wouldn't Mm. um but that was sorry that hold on let me text her Let me see. Her phone might have died, guys. Someone said, who is older, you or your girlfriend? Well, I actually don't have a girlfriend. I do have a boyfriend, so. Sorry to disappoint. I'm still queer, just with a boyfriend. It mostly has to do with my sexuality because um, I just don't really, not that I, I mean, I guess if like, someone forced me like I could pick like a standard label but it's um yes typing ASMR so true um but to me that is a more comfortable word to use for myself so that's what it means to me but it does mean a lot of different things to a lot of different people did she end because she got uncomfy or did it get banned no she genuinely got banned we're texting right now it says she has to wait 10 minutes she wouldn't be uncomfy we we're just we just be sisters talking she's in the comments girl where are you sorry the first thing in the grocery haul is actually vanilla coke and i never buy mm. soda i never That's buy soda literally that was me today i don't ever i just only pretty much try and drink water and occasionally sometimes juice but i literally was like i think i want soda and i i literally drank a dr pepper today um oh kenzie's still here someone says why is my bed so high well because i live in a dorm that's why um anyways but i never buy soda but i was thinking about how i was gonna pass away without um coke so i bought some um anyways back to my grocery haul um guys wait hold on okay guys you need to think about how this is a really chaotic grocery haul because i already kind of got like um groceries like earlier because i was so i was sick last week so i got a bunch of like perishable stuff um Mm. but then i never ate it because i was really like i had the stomach bug like i had stomach flu so i couldn't eat it um so i have a bunch of perishable stuff like my parents are singing something okay iconic um, but I need to finish that so I didn't buy any new like vegetables and stuff. Anyways, so mm-hmm. I got hydrangeas, which I need to do. I'm doing a TikTok later when I um of me like switching out my flowers because I have a nice story to tell the peeps. Um so you guys can go look out for that, which I'm just not making it right now. Obviously. So are my hydrangeas. I have a sweet little story that I'll tell you. Um and then I got What's this? Nori. Cause Oh because I'm a good Korean girl. Yum. Yup. And I'm actually having ramen for dinner tonight, so this is going in there. Um then guys, this is a really weird grocery haul. Please don't roast me. Um and then I got <laughs> Kathy's so funny. Wait, I'm getting I'm getting um, everybody is is texting me about things. I know, me too. I'm getting so many texts about this live. It's um, so, so funny. I got tortilla chips. Mm, um, tortilla I'm, chips I'm are yum. I'm familiar with the brand, but okay, Hannah, you're going to like this one. I got these. Because yum. I do have a little bowl in my room that has candy in it, but it's only for my lovely boyfriend because he, like, eats dessert. Literally, same. Ready? I'm li- I'll literally show you. We have a million different kinds of candy literally right next to me. Yeah, but half someone the said time this is good chips. Okay. Um. Also, our our mom really likes these, and tomorrow's her birthday. And since I'm not with her, I thought, what better way to celebrate than to eat? 
I always get her one of these, like one of the bigger bars as a gift, like for Christmas and her birthday. Like we put it in her stocking or like I just get it as part of her um, birthday gift. So I thought what better way um, to celebrate her birthday than eat exactly. chocolate, obviously. Um, and then I got baby bok choy because hmm. yeah. I'm I'll be, you know, how it be. Um, and then this is just frozen fruit for my smoothies, which I actually need to put in the freezer. Um, you, that has, I know that's been sitting out for like an hour. Yeah, it's fine, guys. And then I got, oh, I can't show this because I'm making them. I'm seeing Kara this weekend and I'm making these for her. But I oh. had to get a box mix. Wait, you're seeing her this weekend? Yeah. That's so nice. I'll call you later and tell you about what we're doing. Oh, okay. Okay, then I got Arby's curly fries, guys, because I wanted chicken fingers and fries, so don't roast me. Okay. Stop. Chicken fingers and fries is my favorite. I could probably eat it every single day. Exactly. Because I just love it. So I think, people, I think the live might be behind because people are now just commenting about baby bok choy. Guys, it's okay. <laughs> I think I think lives do have like a little bit of a delay. Um, yeah. And then the other thing I got was these little Reese's eggs, also for my lovely boyfriend. Mm. Um, then I got <laughs> Kara. Kara just texted Arby's yes. curly fries. Mm hmm. <laughs> yeah, she probably no. She meant to say mm, probably because that's just how she writes it. Um, <laughs> ketchup. Oh, that just reminded me. I have to buy more ketchup. I know. I'm out. Um, yeah, we're sugar. out. Also has to do with the thing I'm making for Kara, the brown sugar. Plus, I just wanted it for, like, oatmeal and stuff. And then I got protein. Alexis is chocolate. such a bot. Why'd she just say, aren't you, like, gluten-free and vegan? She thinks that everyone, she anyone that's, like, in her head, anyone that's vegetarian is vegan. She's so weird. But anyways, then I got so um, the protein um, muffin mix because I wanted, I've been obsessed. Oh, wait, those are good. I know. I've been obsessed with making muffins recently, but I was like, oh, I really want to eat a muffin for breakfast. But I was like, maybe I should add some health value to that. So then I got the person. Smart thinking. Thank you. You are saying I'm very nonchalant. Yeah, you are. And not, I feel like to you, like, I feel like I'm a really big ball of stress and you are like. Well, it's just sometimes so I just like, just don't let things bother me. Or, or I just, sometimes I'm just, like, slow, so, like, I really just don't even realize that something that is making other people stress is happening. Yeah, someone said, oh, how do I make this food in my dorm? Guys, I don't. I just go to my boyfriend's apartment, so. <laughs> She's, I don't. <laughs> I, I do, yeah, but I do have a microwave, so anything that I can make in the microwave, I can make, but... He has a stove, oven, all the stuff. So oh, I yeah, cook. Manny Manny is such a little such a little housewife. She was cooking dinner the other night. Why would you say that? That's an that well, I guess that's not an insult, guys. I love feminism and women, and if you want to be a housewife, slay. But well, yeah, I actually have been into cooking recently. You just were housewife. cooking such a yum dinner. Yeah, that's true. It's just kind of funny and silly sometimes to cook. Oh, Kenzie, I did see your text. text. Years. What? Who's texting? I was just, Kenzie's commenting. I said I saw her text. But I didn't respond because I don't have, I am only, like, it's not only on my phone. True. Someone said, go off, Donna Reed. Guys. I like cooking, too. I agree. Somebody said it's cooking fun. is... I'm not good at such it. Such a good stress reliever. Guys, hey, this is another moment. If you guys like cooking and you want to learn how to be a better oh. cook and see people cook, go head over to Baking by Leah. Baking by Leah, you're gonna have such an aesthetic, calm time listening to calm music, watching her bake. Yeah, and she makes really Kenzie, good. Kenzie, you better go follow Leah's TikTok. It's really aesthetically pleasing to watch. She's really good. Oh, it's I, yeah, it's baking by Leah, right? Yeah, it's baking by Leah, guys. By last time, B-Y. don't listen to us before when we said baking with Leah. We were actually don't wrong. even say it. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, actually, we were just wrong. Baking it's actually by baking Leah. by Leah. If you guys know her account, tag her in the comments. We can't comment, but you guys can. So comment her account, tag her. Yeah. Oh yeah, look, they're tagging her. Oh, it's dot baking by Leah. Mm-hmm. 
I knew there was a yeah. dot. No, somewhere. it's on TikTok. It's not on YouTube. TikTok, guys. Baking, TikTok. Dot baking Belia. Kenzie, why are you putting my name in 